Pulaski TV today and Kevin Kilpatrick here at the Boys and Girls Club in Pulaski and I'm here with Johnny Patel who is the president of the Boys and Girls Club and Ben Jackson who is the president of Kiwanis here in Pulaski and Giles County and we're here today to talk about a great fundraising event and Ben why don't you tell us what we're doing today okay yeah we um, I'm Ben Jackson with the Kiwanis Club of uh, Giles County and here recently, uh, John Patel, who is with the Boys and Girls Club, came to visit our club uh, with a specific need. And the, the Boys and Girls Club is, uh, has been fortunate enough to receive a manufactured home from Hillside Hospital to help them uh, with the expansion of the club. Uh, they need a little bit more room here. Um, John can speak a little bit further into that, but he came to the club, uh, the Qantas Club, with that specific need. and. Uh, so we as a club uh, decided to uh, have a fundraiser, a golf fundraiser, and uh, let that be uh, specifically for this project that the Boys and Girls Club is having. Now our golf tournament, it's on September the 24th. Um, we'll go into some more details and hopefully show you guys a flyer uh, and some contact information, but we're looking for teams. Uh, we want to absolutely recognize our gold sponsors for our event which is Bank of Frank Ewing, Rich Lynn Inn, uh, Pulaski Electric System is also a gold sponsor and we hope to have more to come. So we're gonna have uh, some recognition, uh, we're gonna recognize those folks at the tournament. And uh, yeah, the, the main purpose for this is to help the Boys and Girls Club expand. Um, uh, if you're like anyone else, they, they cater to kids from kindergarten up through high school and uh, you know, if your learning environment is not what it should be, or if you have smaller kids in a larger uh, kids environment, it's just hard to concentrate and learn. And once you get over here and recognize all that the Boys and Girls Club does for Giles County, uh, it was an easy decision for our club to step in and make a decision to do something to help these guys out. So we're excited about the golf tournament. It looks like we're going to have a good turnout, and we need community support. We need people to come out and play. So. Uh, you guys are going to have my number. I hope that you give me a call. And uh, we plan on uh, doing it September 24th. It's going to be $60 a person, and that will include your mulligan uh, and your red tea. Uh, it's going to be a morning event, so it'll be from approximately 8 to 1 o'clock that day. But yeah, we're just looking for community support, people who want to support the Boys and Girls Club and what John and the crew here uh, do for, for these kids, which uh, which he can probably go into more detail about, but we know is important. Yeah, I remember as a kid, uh, you know, I was 11, 12, 13, going to my boys and girls club after school. And, you know, uh, mom and dad were working. I needed a place to go where I didn't get in trouble because I was, you know, subject to that kind of stuff. Absolutely. But uh, going, hanging out, you know, playing air hockey, you know, checking out the books they had at the boys and girls club. I mean, it just brings back such great memories. Then I got involved in uh, playing baseball there. So it, it's a great place for kids to go um, in the community. And Johnny, tell us specifically, Hillside Hospital was so generous to donate this manufactured home. What specifically is this going to be used for? This, the, this building is mostly going to be used for education purposes. Right now, uh, if you get a chance, uh, we, if, uh, we have a big gym in the back, uh, and that's where all the classes meet in different age groups. And it's, the acoustics in that building is not real good. and we were in dire needs of classrooms. Mm. And of course, we didn't have enough money for expansion for the uh, club. Fortunately, Hillside Hospital has an education building, which they want to get rid of, and they're going to donate it to us. But so here we are outside of the Boys and Girls Club in Pulaski, and this is the site. This is the site of the new manufactured home uh, attachment to the Boys and Girls Club. And I'm here with uh, Jerry Primus, and you are the executive director? That's correct. That's correct. And tell us, uh, we know that Hillside graciously donated the building, and you are one of the guys that is in charge of getting the building here and uh, putting it in use, right? That's correct. Tell us all about it. Uh, yes, we are just uh, delighted that the Hillside Hospital has donated this uh, building. It's, it's, it was their educational building. Uh, and, uh, we're also going to be using it to separate our elementary students from our team program. It's been a dream, uh, one that uh, we have just uh, been in need of being able to have and house uh, at this facility a room for the elementary students, K-1 and 2, and also for the students who are in the third, fourth, and fifth grade. Uh, we have uh, just uh, received uh, a gift that has uh, going to be able to enhance our programs here at the Boys and Girls Club. 